Now, what the love languages talks about is most people have two love languages. The way in which they show love, the way in which they show value, and the way in which they feel value. So for me, my love, the way in which I show value, the way in which I show love is through acts of service. I absolutely love doing things for people. But if someone does something for me, it makes me cringe. I hate birthdays. If you want to drive me to the airport, I will say no, because I know you have to drive back from the airport without someone in the car, and I've literally wasted your time. The way in which I feel love is words of affirmation. And not from a want to be praised, it's probably more of a moral upbringing whereby my mother taught me the importance of manners. If I do something for someone, I just literally want to feel acknowledged for doing that. A thank you. That's my words of affirmation. My partner, love language, is giving and receiving gifts. Hence why I have to work two jobs. <laughs> <laughs> But even that, so important, and I, I will digress here quickly, you know, um, I'm absolutely fantastic at teaching and training people to achieve anything, from high and warfighting Afghanistan to helping startup businesses, to helping people just achieve their true value, their own love language. But then when it came to my own personal relationship, I wasn't practicing what I was preaching. You know, we have very different love languages, and most people think that in a relationship you need to find someone who has the same love language. Completely wrong. You actually need to find a way in which to talk to that person's love language. It's actually even better when you don't naturally speak that person's love language because you're actually going out of your way to address the way that they feel value within the relationship. 